Run. Okay, Hosea 6 and verse 6. I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they, like men, that is, like Adam, have transgressed the covenant. There have they dealt treacherously against me. So Adam betrayed his Lord, his Creator, in the Garden of Eden by agreeing with the devil that one of the trees has death in it. Eve got the message from the serpent, the voice speaking through the serpent, was not the devil. And the early Christians agreed with that. And she ate of it, she did not die. So she says, eat of it, Adam, and you will see that the Lord God who's talking to us and said this tree will kill you is a liar. Okay, but Adam was brainwashed. And you go over to uh, Romans chapter, I believe it's 8, and you go through that chapter 18 and 19, and it explains how all this happened. And the creature was not, was a victim of it. But the Father allowed it for purposes of example. Our little world is a lesson book for the universe. Okay, I desired mercy and not sacrifice. He didn't want the sacrificial system. And the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they like men have transgressed the covenant. There have they dealt treacherously against me. Okay. What did you, you wanted me to talk about the serpent in Eden. What question do you have about that? And we'll wrap it up with that one. Who, uh, who was the voice speaking through the serpent? Weren't there some books written uh, in the Dead Sea Scrolls uh, interpreted a little bit or explained and expounded the Book of Thomas, by uh, the, Book of Thomas the Gospel of Elaine Thomas Pagels, uh, Adam okay. and Eve and the Serpent, okay. and then there was Elaine another one. Elaine Pagels, yes. The Gnostic Gospels and Adam and Eve and the Serpent. There were two books that she wrote. And in those two books, she uh, says that in her interpretation and understanding and writing of the Dead Sea Scrolls, that um, the original Christian church, before it was taken over by the pagans in the first and second century, third century up to Constantine, that the early Christians taught that the spirit, the voice that was speaking through the serpent, was the true mother of mankind, which was, in the Old Testament, as we have talked about, was actually Gabriel. Okay. If anybody has any questions, they can write to me, mclute777 at aol.com. That's my email address, and we can put that in there. Uh, also, my book, Into the Father's Heart, there's a few distributors in the United States that uh, still have this one. And here in the Philippines, I have the smaller edition of Into the Father's Heart, 101 uh, pages, and it has two chapters. Chapter 26, the animal sacrifice system, and also question and answers 29, two chapters only, 101 pages, the little mini chapter, mini book, Into the Father's Heart. We have a few of these left, so if you want one, let me know. Time is running out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, according to one report, the United States will have, if they can, have everybody shipped in the United States by 2017. I, I hope that's not true. But they're going to start trying to get everybody shipped with the RFID, radio frequency ID. And people will think it's a wonderful thing. Oh yes, give me the chip. Big, de big deception. Do you have any comments about that? Yeah, uh, well, it's obviously that uh, you have a special burden that people know these things. It seems like uh, you go out of your way to share this message with people. That's right. Because well, I'm passing out these pamphlets. You're, you're putting out, you're, you're, you're exhibiting a huge amount of energy to give this knowledge to people. Yes. You're very concerned that people understand this. Well, why? Because Gabrielle's talking to me every day. 
what is she saying? Michael, I want my babies back. I want my children back. Please pass out the pamphlet. Tell the people. Tell the people. If you heard someone crying, weeping every day, would you be concerned? Would you say, okay, okay, I will do it. I think that's why Jesus was up in the mountains praying all night because his wife, the Shekinah, was talking to him. Michael, we need to do, we need to get this message out. I want my children back. I want my babies back. You pray to the Father, friends. Listen to me. You pray, Father, reveal this to me. If Gabrielle is the true mother of mankind and not Mary, that's the whole point. Mama Mary, she has teaches in prayers. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now at the hour of our death. That's just one. But they also have the Our Father. I talk to Catholics about this here in the Philippines. On the bus, wherever. <clears throat> because 85% are Catholic. <clears throat> and I say, do you pray to Mary? And most of them will say yes. I say, well, does she talk to you? Well, no, they don't know very much about it. So I give them a little Bible study on it. And I say, well, Mary is dead. Go to chapter 2 and 3 of the book of Acts. And Peter says in his sermon, David, the king, he's not in heaven. His sepulcher is here to, today with us. If David didn't go to heaven when he died, why should we think that anybody else did? He was a good man. So there's a lot of deception about God in the Bible. And here in the Philippines, uh, they're very religious. It's the most religious nation in the world. And they're very sincere. When I go down the street on the bus, anywhere I go here in the Philippines, and I say, here's a pamphlet, Mobasa Ka Og English. Do you read English? Mobasa. And they'll say yes. Most of the time they will say yes. Here in the southern part, Mindanao, they, they uh, are not as educated as much as they are up in, in the Manila area. But uh, they will say, oh, thank you. Well, what is this about? Well, this one's on Revelation. It's on the Mark of the Beast. Uh, it's on uh, Revelation 14. What's this one about? This is about Abraham and Isaac. And I got the uh, things there, so I give them a little Bible study. Here's Abraham, and here is his son Isaac. Now, if it's a Muslim, here's Abraham, and here's his son Ishmael. Because they, they, they say it's Ishmael. That was to be sacrificed. So wasn't Abraham told by God to kill his uh, little boy, Isaac, as a sacrifice? Yes. Gen Genesis 22 and verse 1. This is, this is it. And so I, I have an illustration here. Here's, here's Abraham going to kill his son. Why? Because he heard a voice saying, I am God. Go sacrifice your son to prove that you love me. And he was going to do it. And then another voice comes and says, Stop, Abraham. Don't do it. Don't kill him. And so Abraham stopped. So I said, you have two voices. The voice of the true God and the voice of the false Lord. Two gods, two lords. And that's the name of the article, the two lords. But isn't that confusing when you pray to God? I mean, how do you know if the right God is talking to you? If it's the true God or the, the imposter, it's, false it's God? It's very simple. Isaiah 8, 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them. What, what is Isaiah, what is uh, Exodus 20, verses 8 to 11, and Isaiah, oh, and, uh, Exodus 20. The, the Sabbath commandment. commandment? Sixth commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Oh. Why would God break his own law? You see, that voice was not from the true God saying, go and break my own law, kill your son. Oh, well, Lord, you said not to kill. Oh, it's okay. You go kill him. It's, I'm changing it if I want to. So, uh, Jesus never bent the rules when he was here. No. He said, I've kept my Father's commandments. That's right. Well, everybody has to study and pray, uh, you know, for themselves. And this is just a short little sharing of the Word. So what church should we belong to? The same church that Jesus belonged to. When they asked Jesus, what is your church? church and my heavenly father so where should we pay our tithes and offerings to you pay it to whoever's feeding you and giving you the word 
that is nourishing you. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of question and answers in my book, Into the Father's Heart. I have a whole section of questions and answers. Like, what church should you join? What is the true church? How do you know? You have to pray. I, by the way, I just finished about a 50-page, 45, 50-page document. What is the real truth about prayer? How do you learn to, how do you know how to pray? How do you learn to, how to, how do you learn to understand and know how to get your prayers answered? And I had about 20 different books that I was quoting from. A lot of good ideas. It's the most in-depth article that I think has ever been done on the subject of prayer. And I should do a whole tape on that sometime. But anyway, Dell, thank you for uh, taping this. I hope some people will listen to it. So you expressed uh, pretty much what you wanted to for at this time? Yeah. And if my wife would let herself be pictured. Can we take a picture of you? She's shaking her head. <laughs> oh. She doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. So are we done? Or? Yeah, thank you, Dale.